Hello everyone, my name is Miguel Greenberg and this is the introductory chapter on the MicroPython and the Internet of Things tutorial. In this quick video, I want to give you an idea of what this tutorial is going to be about. And more importantly, I need to give you a shopping list. Uh, as you can imagine, in this tutorial, even though we're going to be centered on software, we are going to be interacting with the physical world. We're going to uh, work with devices. So to follow this tutorial, you're going to need to buy a few things. Uh, all of them, luckily, are very inexpensive. So I'm going to start by showing you the wonder that runs MicroPython inside. This is a microcontroller development board. The, the actual microcontroller is that silver square that you see there. It's an ESP8266 chip. Now this is called a development board because it comes assembled in, in this nice board and includes the USB connector here that is used for powering the device and also to program it. So this is how we are going to upload code into this device. So uh, this is the AS ESP8266 development board, the most important component that we are going to work with throughout this tutorial. We are also going to use a sensor. This is a DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. Uh, we're going to use this as an example so that you learn how to basically interact with sensors. We're going to be taking measurements from the environment uh, on temperature and humidity with this device. We are also going to use this cute tiny little screen. We're going to display information on, on this screen. So th this is, you, you can see that it, it's really tiny. It's actually 128 pixels by, it's 128 wide by 64 uh, high. So very small screen. Uh, this is going to be a beginner tutorial. Uh, so the only requirement that you need is to be familiar at, at a very basic level with Python programming, standard Python programming. So uh, I'm not going to include, uh, for example, soldering. We're not going to do any soldering uh, with, with these components. Uh, all the, uh, the approach that I'm going to take is a, a Lego type approach where we are going to build the circuits uh, in a way that are easy to assemble and disassemble. So you, you can reuse the components when you build your own things later on. So as part of that, we're going to use this. This is going to be the platform where we are going to build our experiments. This is called a breadboard, and it's basically a platform with lots of holes where you uh, we're going to stick the, the components. And this is how we are going to uh, to build our, our examples. And to connect components uh, with each other, we are going to use cables. These are called jumper wires. So we're going to need a bunch of these so that we can connect all the different components that are installed on the breadboard. Uh, what else? We're going to use buttons. Here I have a, a box with assorted colorful buttons. So we're going to use buttons for some of the examples. Uh, and then this is really optional. I, I would not buy this, but if you have uh, a power bank, you can, you can power your microcontroller with a battery power using a power bank that you use for, you know, to, to give extra life to your cell phone. Um, so that is it in terms of components. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, look in the description below for a link to a blog post that has links 
to Amazon where you can find all these components. Uh, you don't have to buy, the, buy them from Amazon. They're also available on eBay, probably cheaper on eBay if you prefer. Uh, but uh, the, the links are going to be useful as a reference so that you know what to buy. I encourage you to look at the, uh, the, the links to all these components so that you can get ready to begin the tutorial. And, and then I hope to see you on the next chapter when we are going to start doing fun stuff. Thank you. Bye-bye.